what is going on youtube twitchy tango here and you know i should be working on other stuff but this has literally caught my eye and i feel like i should get my thoughts on it discuss it and that is the game dragon ball the breakers it is a new game uh being published by bandai being developed by surprise surprise dimps so who i think has had the dragon ball license what feels like an entire lifetime <clears throat> And uh, it's just kind of uh, what we're getting, but I figure we could watch it and discuss it together because it sounds a lot better that way. That's pretty dope. You know, I dig it. It's pretty cool. And obviously sales involved. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> Time to take a stand. Good old Oolong. Ultimate game of survival begins now. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. You start out as a uh, cell of the larva and then evolve into first form of cell. Pretty interesting. Seven survivors, one raider. Dragon Ball Asymmetrical Action Game. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hmm. Oolong, long what is that rocket launcher gonna do, bud? <laughs> That's great. It's pretty interesting. I'll give it that. And off they go down the slope. Zip zop zoop da bop. Uh that's pretty cool. I'm interested to know if there's gonna be more characters i'm sure they will it makes sense i mean cell is a good choice obviously because he absorbs people break out from chaos Like, that's totally gonna work, yes. The ultimate life form will fall by a freaking rocket launcher. Gotcha. Dragon Ball The Breakers will be released on PS4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. Theme published by Bandai, developed by Dimps, who have, like I said, have had the license for what feels like eons now. But let's go to their homepage and we can get an idea of this. Raise this, escape, survive, common and expected temporal phenomenon. Seven ordinary citizens find themselves stranded in a temporal scene. They share their imprisonment with a raider, a menacing enemy from another timeline with an overwhelming power. Their only hope for survival is to break out from the temporal scene with a super time machine, but the raiders on the track become stronger by the minute in a race against time. The cunning of survivors clashes with the power of the raider. To break free or be broken. These are the platforms that's coming on. Developed by Dimps. Asymmetrical multiplayer survival co op. Co op multiplayer online. <coughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, escape as a team or on your own. Cooperate with others while there is still time, but the Raider or other survivors' decisions might force you to get. Go at to go at it alone will will be your playstyle. Trapped in a temporal scene, escape from a large map composed of several era areas. But be careful, the Raider is always looking for you. May destroy areas to reduce your living space. Make your chance of escaping always more limited. Enjoy three first iconic Raiders. Okay, Sal, Boo, and Frieza. As the Raider, you want enjoy overwhelming powers and hunt to hunt and wipe out stars, master each Raider's powers to track, catch your victims, evolve, and get even more powerful. Customize in your likeness. 
Whenever you're a raider or survivor, choose your progression path, unlock perk skins, to fine tune your own personal strategy to escape as a survivor. Well, hunt is already so. Essentially, what we have here is Dead by Daylight in Dragon Ball form, but worse, I guess, is the best way of describing it. I don't know. People don't play Dragon Ball for. You know, you go to Dragon Ball for one thing, and that's the fighting. That's essentially what it is. But this just feels like trying to get on the hype of Dead by Daylight. Vehicles, weapons, grappling hooks make the most of each each gimmick to face against Raider and struggle it for your life. So that's essentially it. It just feels like it's being cheap in a way. It'll be similar to, I guess, Dead by Daylight. <clears throat> but in Dragon Ball form, I don't know, man. This feels like... It'll be hype as crap when it launches, and then like a freaking week later, it will be absolutely 100% uh, non-existent. At least, that's what I think. I mean, this could be why we're not getting a Xenoverse 3 or getting a Fighters 2. I mean, Xenoverse 2 has been going strong for half a decade now, so kind of makes the most sense to, I don't know, just sort of keep going with that. Uh, you know, I get that Bandai wants to experiment, but, you know, they've got literally Elder Ring come out next year. I don't think anybody's going to even remotely think about this game as Elder Ring when, when it comes out. Because Bandai's just going to be making something as far as Elder Ring. I don't know, though. Uh, my thoughts? I don't know, man. Like, Dead by Daylight does it well, and I've seen people hype that game up. But a Dragon Ball Dead by Daylight clone just feels, I don't know, feels like a cash grab more than anything. I don't know how I feel about it. I think, you know, time should be devoted to other things like making something that's better than Kakarot. Despite what many, you know, despite how I feel about it, I don't know, the base game was kind of lackluster, but the, uh, the Trunks DLC was better than the entire base game, and that's kind of bad. But, I mean, what can you do? The fact that Xenoverse 2 is going to get even more updates going forward. So it, I'm interested to know what's the next step for Dragon Ball when this dies out. Are they going to keep experimenting? Or, I mean, what is, the, what is the plans? Because I actually want to get back to, you know, a fun Dragon Ball game. I want Legacy of Goku. Uh, mo you know, a Legacy of Goku game, you know, is what we need in modern consoles. A true modern RPG and not like what Kakarot was trying to be. But honestly, that's just kind of my two cents. I just don't know how to feel about it. I want it to be good, but I don't know, man. I feel like it's truly going to be a hit or a miss. I think it'll be hype as fuck for a week. And then it will be like on nobody's radar. My only hope is that Rhyme Styles and his wonderful group of friends uh, play the crap out of this game. Because I will absolutely watch Watch it for their content, because, I don't know, three idiots playing this would be perfect. But that's it. That's the video. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy.